ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Tuesday, May 4th, the Tuesday after the fifth Sunday of Easter. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me, if you'd like, in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. O oh God, you give us your Son as the vine apart from whom we cannot live. Nourish our life in his resurrection, that we may bear the fruit of love and know the fullness of your joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now we turn to the pages of Holy Scripture, beginning in Psalm 80. O shepherd of Israel, pay attention, you who lead Joseph like a flock of sheep, you who sit enthroned above the winged angels, reveal your splendor. In the sight of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, reveal your power. Come and deliver us. O God, restore us, smile on us, then we will be delivered. O Lord God, invincible warrior, how long will you remain angry at your people while they pray to you? You have given them tears as food. You have made them drink tears by the measure. You have made our neighbors dislike us and our enemies insult us. O God, invincible warrior, restore us, smile on us, then we will be delivered. You uprooted a vine from Egypt. You drove out nations and transplanted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow, the highest cedars by its branches. Its branches reached the Mediterranean Sea, and its shoots the Euphrates River. Why did you break down its walls, so that all who pass by pluck its fruit? The wild boars of the forest ruin it, the insects of the field feed on it. O oh God, invincible warrior, come back, look down from heaven, and take notice. Take care of this vine, the root your right hand planted, the shoot you made to grow. It is burned and cut down. They die because you are displeased with them. May you give support to the one you have chosen, to the one whom you raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we will pray to you. O Lord God, our invincible warrior, restore us. Smile on us. Then we will be delivered. From the prophet Isaiah. The 32nd chapter. You complacent women, get up and listen to me. You carefree daughters, pay attention to what I say. In a year's time, you carefree ones will shake with fear, for the grape harvest will fail, and the fruit harvest will not arrive. Tremble, you complacent ones. Shake with fear, you carefree ones. Strip off your clothes and expose yourselves. Put sackcloth on your waist. Mourn over the field over the delightful fields and the fruitful vine. Mourn over the land of my people, which is overgrown with thorns and briars, and over all the once happy houses in the city filled with revelry. For the fortress is neglected. The once crowded city is abandoned. Hill and watchtower are permanently uninhabited. Wild donkeys love to go there, and flocks graze there. The desolation will continue until new life is poured out on us from heaven, then the desert will become an orchard, and the orchard will be considered a forest. Justice will settle down in the desert, and fairness will live in the orchard. Fairness will produce peace and result in lasting security. My people will live in peaceful settlements, in secure homes, and in safe, quiet places. Even if the forest is destroyed and the city is annihilated, you will be blessed, you who plant seed by all the banks of the streams, 
you who let your ox and donkey graze. And finally, in the letter of James, the third chapter. The wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, accommodating, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and not hypocritical. And the fruit that consists of righteousness is planted in peace among those who make peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. 
stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.